In his letter to the Colossians, the Apostle Paul encourages the believers there to devote themselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And this is as necessary now as it was when it was written. As a team here, we meet every morning to pray and we often send out particular requests for prayer. But twice a year, we encourage all our supporters to join with us in praying together about significant issues for the UK. So thank you for joining me today for the start of our week of prayer. The Bible tells us to pray first for kings and all those in authority. So as we often do, we're going to begin by praying for those in authority over us. Let's pray. Lord God, we praise you that in your mercy, in your divine providence, you have given us governing authorities. You've put them in place as your servants to us for our good. And uh, we know that they are flawed and sinful as we all are, yet we pray that in your common grace you would cause them to fulfil their God-given mandate to encourage good and discourage evil. From the king and the prime minister down, wherever these authorities may be, in national, devolved or local government, we pray that they would have wisdom and integrity, that like the centurion, they would recognise themselves to be men and women under authority and act in accordance with your goodwill and purposes for this nation. Give you thanks so much for those who are faithful to the gospel and not ashamed of Christ, but are prepared to speak and act with grace and truth in public life. And Lord God, we pray that in your mercy, you might be pleased to raise up more men and women with such a heart, a heart uh, of people who are ready to serve as salt and light in our nation. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.